equivalent trigonometric expressions question 6 write correlated angle identity for sine alpha plus 3 pi by 2 right so let's see what it means sine alpha plus 3 pi by 2 so that's our coordinate system right now here if I am doing alpha plus 3 pi by 2 so let me first say plus 3 pi by 2 what is the meaning of plus 3 pi by 2 so let's start from here this is 0 right this is pi by 2 correct so this is 1 pi by 2 2 pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 so that is the meaning of plus 3 pi by 2 correct now if I do alpha plus 3 pi by 2 that means I am starting from somewhere here where this angle happens to be alpha right now see what is the meaning of alpha plus 3 pi by 2 that means we'll be going alpha more right so we'll going like this but we'll land here alpha more so that is this correct now in this case that becomes your alpha do you see that so that becomes your alpha so alpha plus 3 pi by 2 with that you land into quadrant 4 correct in quadrant 4 sign is negative so we are talking about sign so we are expecting a negative result right let me write down the cost rule so that you get an idea of what we are talking about right so C A S T right so here cosine is positive all others are negative primary trigonometric ratios correct so we can summarize our observation that is when we are talking about sine alpha plus 3 pi by 2 then what do we notice first thing we notice is that we are in quadrant 4 correct second thing we know that the result is negative negative because sine in quadrant 4 is negative so whatever we do whatever we write in we should get a negative result that is the primary issue here right now third thing whenever you do pi by 2 plus minus or 3 pi by 2 plus minus do you see the change it changes to co-function identity right it becomes a co-function right so basically it becomes a co-function co-function means sine becomes cosine cosine becomes sine of the angle alpha do you understand so what we can do here straight away let's write it as a co-function that is the first thing let's do right so sine becomes cosine so we'll say cos of alpha now cos of alpha in quadrant 4 is positive not negative to make it negative we have to write a negative sign now sine alpha plus 3 pi by 2 which will give us a negative value is equal to negative of cos alpha right cos alpha will always be positive right alpha is an acute angle so we have to put that negative here do you see that this negative makes it negative right so sine alpha plus 3 pi by 2 equals to minus of cos alpha now, now we can write cos alpha with identities like cos of now this is alpha now think like start thinking from alpha angle okay so alpha we could write this as pi minus alpha or pi plus alpha right so we can write this as the same identity as pi minus alpha if i do cos pi minus alpha i land up in this quadrant cos is negative so i don't have to write negative do you see that or if i write cos of pi plus alpha even then we land up in quadrant 3 and so we don't have to write correct but in case I'm just extending this if I write cos 2 pi minus alpha then we land in quadrant 4 where it is positive so I have to write negative do you see that so these are the correlated angle identities of sine alpha plus 3 pi by 2 in terms of cosine do you see that but I can write so many in terms of sine itself do you see how I will show you so we'll write instead of 3 pi by 2 we can do alpha plus pi by 2 correct now alpha plus 3 pi by 2 is also equals to alpha plus pi by 2 now alpha plus pi by 2 what will happen 
So this is pi by 2 and this is alpha. You land in quadrant 2, but you are positive. You need negative, so you'll have to put minus here. Do you understand how am I doing it? Let me do one more. That is, now this time I'll do cos alpha minus pi by 2. Okay, or let me write, yeah, so, uh, yeah, minus pi by 2. So let me, we can do that also. So cos, or we can do pi by 2 minus alpha, right? So we do pi by 2 minus alpha. If I do pi by 2 minus alpha, I am in quadrant 1, which is positive. To make it negative, I have to write negative here. Do you get my point? So that is how we can write so many correlated angle identities for the given trigonometric expression. Do you get the point? We could do alpha minus pi by 2 also. Let me do that. So we do sine of alpha minus pi by 2. When I do minus pi by 2, that means from here, I go pi by 2 angle here and I reach this side. Do you see that is alpha minus pi by 2. Let me just draw it here, this, right? So alpha and then we do minus pi by 2. We land here. So this is alpha minus pi by 2, correct? You land in quadrant 4. In quadrant 4, this is negative. We want a negative result. So it's perfectly fine. Do you see that? So we could write sine alpha plus 3 pi by 2 reaching from there or from here is one and the same thing. So these are all possible correlated angle identities for sine alpha plus 3 pi by 2. I hope you appreciate it and understand what are we trying to do here. Thanks.